Boom. Hang on. Like my pants. These are my house sick pants. Because I am sick. Not just, you know, like sick in the head. Oh, all right. First, let's organize some stuff. Uh, oh well, there it is. What's up, guys? So, interesting uh, start to today. I was up all night sick. So if I have to run to the uh, turlet during the live show, you guys know why. But I still went to work for about four or five hours. And uh, fortunately, I uh, got a bunch of stuff in. And one, I think, the one I'm going to save for last because that's smart thinking. Uh, sorry, you guys are up here. I'm going to uh, – nobody's seen it yet. It's uh, I'm the first one with it in hand, so we'll say that. And it's a statue, obviously. So let's get started. Where is my blade? Someone stole my blade at my office. I had this cool switchblade. Actually, I don't think they stole it. I left it out. But again, I, uh, I'm still shaking because I don't feel good. That's how I roll, though. James in the house, Alex in the house, Otis in the house, John in the house, Antonio, average collector. Okay, I'm shaking. I don't know if you can see that. Not from excitement, from uh, not feeling good. All right, number one here. Boom. It is books. Bunch of books. So let's take a look at what we got. I'm shaking. This is not going to go well because the uh, statue box is like uh, 80 pounds. Oh, shit. I didn't think this was this. Got this for my son, a Marvel Universe role-playing game Hulk damaged. I don't see where it's damaged, but we'll figure that out. These are going to be some... Uh... God, I can't stop shaking. Stuka, X-Men. We got a uh, another Incredible Hulk epic collection. Kind of far away. Oh, you guys can see it. Unless you're on a tiny little phone. Uh, Ultimate Origins. I don't even remember ordering this, but must have been really cheap. Whew, it's hot in here. Probably because I'm sick. We got X-Men Quarantine. These are all damaged. I don't see where they're damaged, but... And then we got the Epic Silver Surfer Collection. I went this route instead of the Omnibus. Going to read this. I didn't know it was this big, but that's what she said. All right, so that's book or, uh, box number one. Man, I do not feel good. Let's put those back here. Box number two, Mystery. It is a custom something. We'll open it from the back. <laughs> Not too many said that. It's not as good anyway. All right. Very lightweight, a lot lighter than I thought it'd be. I'm gonna have to come over to give you guys a close up. Or actually, I'll just switch cameras. So this is, here we go, settings, there we go. See how sick I look. Sick in the head. Whoa. For uh, Sideshow premium format. See me shaking? Man, I'm really shaking. Looks pretty damn good. All right, so that's box number two. I seriously might have to bail on the guys and run for the turlet. 
but we'll see. Box number three. I think I know what this is. We have an Omni. Oh yeah, you guys are right here. Lucifer. I'm trying to get it without the studio lights. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what it was. It wasn't something I ate because my family and I, we ate all the same things yesterday. And I'm the only one who has it. All right, so that's done. Now we need to open the, the beast. And I'm not going to put it on the table because, like I said, it weighs 75, 80 pounds. Why are my headphones in my pocket? I always carry headphones. So it's right here. For the size, it's probably one of the heaviest boxes I've seen for this size. And I think only one other person, they're probably not watching because it's dinner time where they are. Um, how is Lucifer, uh, whoever's on Facebook? Um, I'm really worried about it because this is, uh, there's some fragile parts to this. And uh, FedEx shipped it all over. It went from the West Coast, to the East Coast, to Hawaii. And then finally it found its way back here. Obviously it originated in China. But that's always good when you have an extremely fragile piece and they decide to ship it all over. Must have flew over my uh, state two or three times. I think this is huh. But it looks like they did pack it good. You got the... Uh, cardboard, additional cardboard on the outside of it. Shipping was a bit, 450 bucks on this. It's a quarter scale piece. Heavy, heavy duty cardboard, so that's comforting. And it says it was inspected by Customs, but I don't think so because it's resealed really well. And Customs don't do that. Make sure you guys see something. Yep, and then inside it's another cardboard box, so that's kind of comforting. So it had uh, additional cardboard protectors, and then it's two cardboard boxes. Oh, I do not feel good. You guys are probably getting a great uh, shot of me and my love handles. That's all right. Chicks dig, dig the uh, the dad bod where they lie. Well, this is always great. So, like usual, it's upside down. It's packed in upside down. So I will have to take it out. So you guys might you're about to see something amazing. Let's uh, make some room, and then I'll switch back to the. Uh, Far camera. Here we go. Take a quick picture for the review. Probably gonna, if I don't pass out, gonna do the review after this. Hope these straps hold. All right, you guys are getting flattering looks at me. I'm so jealous. Um, all right. I'm fairly certain this is the first one. This was supposed to ship in August, so. Oh, shit.
No, it's not fucking Psylocke, even though it should be. And I know he's not watching. I still love him, but I want my Psylocke. Whew. I'm going to make a mess. But that's good because I'm not getting anything else in uh, hand for a few days. All right, let's see. Can anyone guess what it is? We have some rocks. Actually, this will be easier to... Uh... I unbox statues. All right, so we have some rocks. Giant Aquaman. Man, I like that one-third uh, Aquaman and Throne. More rocks. Some of these will give it away, so I'm trying to... Uh, that'll give it away. That, well, everything's going to give it away. This won't give it away. More rocks. And more rocks. Man, you're getting flattering, flattering version of me. I wear pants, Osami. I was supposed to unbox this with you, Osami, but since you don't even have a tracking number, I'm not, I'm not waiting. Uh, ooh, that's a hint. I, uh, oh, look at this crooked, a big crooked purple dick. I'm running out of room here. Might have to switch to the other. Uh... Oh, the person who knows what this is is watching. You can't really see it, but don't say anything. I wear pants when I unbox. I don't when I review. And especially now because I'm pretty sure I have a fever. So more crooked dicks. That'd be so bad. Has anyone ever had their dick broken before? I mean, in the chat, you don't have to share, but I haven't, but more just crooked dicks all over the place. All right, there's that. And this is not the base. Let's do switch you guys back to the big camera. Mm hmm. Look at that. I said, uh, look at these purple dicks, and someone said they're excited to see this. Uh, who knows? It's not even up for uh, PO yet. All right. So this next part is not the base. Oh, fuck me. This is the heavy part. I don't even know how this is going to stand up. Because this is not the base, but it's heavy as shit. Which we were warned about. Here's a portrait. There's probably another portrait. I like the fact that I can show you guys close-ups um, on my computer. I never thought about that before. Um, actually, I think we're going to have to put this on the floor. I don't have room for it. This is, I don't think this is the base. Nope. Looks like it's not broken though. Fuck me. I don't even know how that's gonna hold up. Engineering on this better be genius. Yeah. There's the body. And here we will give it away. It is a silver surf board quite a few people have guessed already <sighs> and here is the base shit i'm gonna have to clean this up oh, who cares if i die from this virus poor my wife someone needs to help my wife sell these statues and help her uh, ethically. I actually already have somebody in place for that. Uh, not that I plan to die. There is the base. Oh, that's a flattering picture. 
This is going to be fun to put together, like 50 pieces. All right. Oh, shit. See, when I'm unboxing stuff live, I always forget to take pictures. So most of you will probably watch my review. You guys remember what it's like. Ooh, there he is. Ooh, I like the chrome. It's not too shiny. All right. Let's get... I told you I'm probably not thinking logically either, so I'll probably break something. The base is really light, actually, for a base. So my initial thoughts, not digging the base a ton. The rock-like effect is, is okay. The hand is okay. And I assume I put in that big part next. Tons of comments, guys. I'll try and swing to that later. All right, let me move this up. There's the base. And here, oh, wow, this is the heavy part, this is the portal that he's coming out of, I already see some imperfections in it, but I think that would be expected, now we'll have to go really close cutting with a shaky hand. Just kidding. Could have pulled a great prank. I have leftover uh, blood from Halloween. So it's got this plastic wrap all over it. And then there's, I should have taken pictures. There's black, tons of black foam pieces in between. So there's this white spot effect on there you guys are going to see. That looks a little cheesy, to be honest with you. The portal itself looks pretty good. I mean, it's, you know, a probably 40 pound piece of semi clear uh, resin. Now we're going to have to figure out how we're going to do this. Let's move all this over. I try and go fast. Uh, when you guys are watching because there's some boring down times and I know so when I watch YouTube videos I don't know if you guys are the same way you can actually speed them up if, I don't know if you knew that in the top right corner you click on playback speed so I always do it at one and a half or two times you can still understand the person they sound like chipmunks you obviously can't do it if they're live but I do that just because to save time okay you ready I don't know how this is going to work. Do you put in the fingers first? All right, wish me luck, everybody. Here we go. It doesn't feel as heavy now. So I'm assuming this is the front because it has the stars on it. Um, let me rethink this. Piece just broke off. That's my fault. I should have watched Matt's uh, video on this. All right, it's not working. Okay, so is Matt X board first? Bless you. I hope you're right. And tiny little piece broke off. Should be a pretty easy repair, actually. That sucks, but yeah, if you're getting this, uh, you're not going to be able to reship it. I can tell you that right now. All right, Barb. Done. Boom. Thank you. What else you got? Board then wave. Okay. Oh, George knew it too. 
All right. Here we go. I know this is the dangerous part. And we already broke off a tiny piece, but it's on the back, so. Oh, and you're definitely going to have to disassemble this to move it. Fuck. This is really heavy. I mean, it won't be for Barb, but. And whoever's messaging me right now needs to stop because it's very distracting. It does not go in. There's something on this other side over here. Oh, it's, that's probably because I had it backwards. I think it was backwards. Oh. I'm nervous as hell now. All right, which side is front? I assume this is the front. This is so dangerous. <laughs> you know what I love? We're getting more and more viewers because everyone wants to see if this breaks. I mean, they don't want, oh shit. They don't want it to break, but uh, I don't know what side's the front. Okay, I'm gonna have to assume I honestly don't know. Anyone know? Yeah, Barb could put this in by herself. Did you see her lift white magneto? I'm sorry I'm sniffling, guys. I'm sick. All right. I'm going to assume this is the front. Hang on. So that's slightly farther back. All right. This is it. I'm sure. Don't do this if you're sick and shaking. This is, I've never had to use two people to put together a statue. And I don't intend to. There's still a huge gap back in the back here. Let me show you guys. I wonder if one of those rocks goes in there. All these purple dicks are in the way. Hang on. Let me switch to see if you guys can see it. All right, right. Everything's backwards. Right here, there's a big old gap. So I hope that it must be one of those rocks. That's the only thing I can think of. It's not those. It. I don't think it's this one. So Matt assembled the prototype, and I think he even did a video. It could be, nah. I don't think it's that. And I don't think it's this one, so I don't know what that's supposed to go right there. Maybe it's, hmm. Well, we're gonna figure that out later. And here is the piece that broke off. So I'll have to find out from where. But so far, uh, much more impressed. Let me switch cameras here than I initially was. Let's hope the uh, figure is the same. I don't know what goes back there. Let me take some of this shit off. <laughs> I left the blade open. I am really out of it. Recently, people at work found my channel, so they might be watching too. Oh, all right. I got to figure out what goes in the back there. He seems pretty secure without it. Yeah, true that. Yeah, Stuart, if only we had instructions right now. Well, to hell with instructions. So, obviously, surfer, the fingers. I'm really curious where the rocks go. There's magnets on them. I can see on the bottom. That looks like it could go right there, even though it's not sticking very good. But that's definitely where it goes. 
So this guy, this might be it. This is it. This piece goes in this gap right here. So I so blame Statue Mania. Now I got to take this back off again. Son of a bitch. We're not going to do it right now. Well, I guess we have to. Shit. I'll do it later. You guys have been watching long enough. It seems pretty secure without it. But there's a hole. Um, right. See the hole? Whoop. Right there. So that peg goes through this hole and it slides right in. Let me move away uh, God Hand's comment. Goes right in there, which is going to be weird. So this is probably lines up like this against it. Actually, that it doesn't feel too loose, though. I mean, I'll still do it, of course. So anyone else assembling, uh, board first, then this piece, and then the portal, unless we figure something else out. Actually, there's a slot right here, too. So that's probably this guy. And he slides right in. That's pretty pretty uh, pretty clever uh, cut on this, actually. And we have one more rock, I believe. And it's got a key to it, so. Oh, shit. There's something that goes down here too. There's a big old hole. So we know it's not this piece. It could be this piece. I'm betting it is. Oh no, wait. This goes. Like that. But I'm wondering if one of the fingers goes down there. I'm betting they do. I don't know why there's such a big... Hmm. Is there a... I think there's a keyhole down there. Or it might just be a big old gap. We'll find out when we run out of pieces. All right. Let's go back to the big camera if it'll let us. Purple dicks, here we go. Um, looks like they're all different shapes, so that should make it pretty easy, in theory. I got some damage down here, but I think it'll be covered up. Nope, that's not that one. It's this one. That's his thumb. I forgot you guys were watching over there. So I pulled it out, the statue, not this. And my initial thoughts were a little bit of disappointment, but that's slowly going away. So that's very good news. Nope. It's not as easy as you uh, think. So that's pretty close. It's touching the board, which is an issue. It's not in all the way and it's touching the board. Oh well. I'm going to have to take this apart to move it anyway. I'll go, uh, Galactus Legendary Bust, which is what this is going with, which obviously the hand is way bigger. Um, I'll bring that over when I'm done here. This is this guy, I believe. Yep. That's a good fit. Not too tight. Um, they. They need stronger magnets on these. So whoever's doing that, just kind of a heads up. This one has a, so the middle one actually is the only one that has a pin. The rest must be magnets or they're just sitting in. And that's not very tight either, but it's probably good that it's not tight in case it was rubbing against the board. Um, 
Sorry, a text from someone important. I'm actually going to really quickly reply to that, guys. Person I just texted, I love you, my friend. All right, um, it's a male. So I think that's it. The rest is surfer's body. So let's look at that. And I'll give you guys some close-ups of the... Oh, wait. Oh, that's his arm. I went with chrome. I like... Chrome better, and I just remembered I should have gloves if I'm touching chrome. So you guys will have to hang out for 20 seconds. Go ahead and time me. So for any of you that have chrome statues, they smudge real easy. I, probably, I should have done it on the board too, but I was too excited. One cool thing you can't see, you'll see in the review, the board isn't 100% silver. It's got this uh, liquidy uh, uh, metallic effect uh, on the edge, which is pretty neat. Also where his feet are going in. So I, I ordered chrome. My Franco Silver Surfer, which is my favorite piece, Silver Surfer is arguably my favorite character, uh, is also chrome. However, Franco's museum piece, I have that coming. I'm going to do that silver. Also, they have the effect here where his feet are hitting. That is also uh, bubbly. All right. It's uh, not all the way flush, but I can worry about that later. Looks pretty cool, though. I'll try and give you guys some close-ups here. Portraits, we'll look at those at the end. There's three of them, it looks like. I only remember two, so that's a cool bonus. And I like this one. It's I don't think it's as shiny, which is pretty cool. So it's a little bit different than the other one. I would say we're going to do an extrumble. But uh, I don't think Franco's can be beat, even though this one looks pretty cool. We might do an extrumble. I don't know if my table can hold all that weight. Right arm. Let me just show you guys the uh, chrome effect. A lot of people watching. All right. So I'm not a painter. So any painters watching, I know Matt would probably jump on normally. I don't know if he's on or not, but uh, looks really good. They use like alkali chrome or something like that. Not alkali, alkade. Looks pretty good. There's one or two tiny imperfections. Now I worry how this sits in. Hopefully it's a strong magnet. It's hard to do with the portal noise. It's pretty strong. Perfect. Um. Then his right arm. I don't even think I'm going to unwrap this one. This is one where he has a, a fist. I might just keep it protected because one way this can differentiate from any of the other pieces. And I, even though this doesn't tell the story very well, because why is he on Galactus's hand? This is one of the parts I'm most excited about. It's hard with gloves. Any of you uh, like butlers that have to wear these type of gloves or uh, what do they call them when you go to the theater? Not a butler, but a uh, guy that shows you to your seat. Or any of you, you know, criminals wear these kind of gloves. So here is the right hand has an infinity gauntlet on it. So I don't know if you're still ushers. Thanks, Tim. Uh, I don't know if you're still watching uh, Jara's, 
Uh, I think you guys will be pretty happy. I am. That shit's not getting cool, Tim. Uh, that fits in pretty good, too. Good magnet. All right, let's do the portraits, and we are done. First one we got. Now, the thing with uh, Chrome, it's hard to get any expression. Uh, face is okay on this one. I do uh, dig the Franco face more. Not only the expression, but there's a little more detail. Uh, eyes are whited out, which it's hard to show you guys. But that's it's a good expression for Silver Surfer, though, because he's kind of normally somber. He doesn't uh, have a lot of emotion. This one shows his teeth a little bit. I don't. Th I think this is probably my least favorite, and I believe the last one he's screaming. Oh, I thought I, <laughs> there was some tape on it. I like this one a lot, yep. Initially, that's what I was thinking. We're gonna do Infinity Gauntlet with this head. And I think that is definitely where it's gonna be at. Yeah, the chrome does look good. Extremely happy I did chrome on this. Um, I wanna give you guys some close-ups. Uh, as long as you promise to still watch the review, you can double speed it tomorrow. So let me do this. Let me clean some of this up really quick. I am never going to be able to repackage this bitch. I don't think I will, though, since he's one of my favorite guys. Did you jump on, my friend? So let me uh, get Galactus Legendary uh, Scale Bus next to him. And make some room here. And then I think if I can pull it off, I'll give you guys some close-ups. All right, let's take this guy. We'll switch you back to the main camera. And yeah, we'll put them right here. Here's the heads. So this particular custom group got a, gets a lot of heat whenever they release a piece. And uh, I want to see people try and bring hate to this piece. You know, there's a few areas of opportunity, like I said, but... All right, let me see if I can get some close-ups for you guys. Problem is, so my camera is hooked into an HDMI cable and a power cable and a microphone, so I'm going to have to unhook some of those. Make sure I remember to plug the microphone back in for the review. All right. So let's take this guy off. Again, I'm sick and shaky, so deal with that. And we're going to have to navigate the cords here. All right, here we go. So I think the paint job on Galactus is okay. Purple's tough, though. I like the uh, legendary scale quite a bit. Or not the, uh, the maquette. I have that. I also have Galactus on Throne. Because obviously being a huge sur surfer fan, I'm a Galactus fan. Here's the rock. Not a fan of it. It doesn't look bad, but it's not good. It needs more texture. The paint's pretty flat. No offense, Matt. And here are the black foam padding that was through all this. Definitely a two-person. 
let me show you some of the things. So right in here, there is a gap. There's a hole back there, and I don't know why. I mean, obviously, it's for an engineering reason. Ooh, that was close. Let's swing it to the back. That's what she said. So here is where that other piece goes. And let's take a look at this. These are the stars. I'm not a fan of this. They could have went without these. I know they're hard to see in the light. So some of them are just white marks and some have kind of a, a little cross triangle in it, or a, a cross in it to kind of show the star exploding. Could have done without these. I think the concept is cool of that, but the execution, now I'm just taking lines of what I'm gonna say in the... Uh... So there's that, so let's take a look at Surfer. So here's the ripple effect. Very cool they did that with the board. Love it. Doesn't really go with the story of this, but it makes sense. And there's the ripple effect coming out of the portal. You see that? I like that. That makes sense to me. That's a pretty cool little Easter egg. Here's Surfer. Very hard to do anatomy. Plus, I have some bright lights shining on him. But I'm liking the anatomy on him. I think it's perfect. He's not over bulky. Pretty cool piece. I'm pretty excited, actually, if you guys can't tell. Can't even remember that uh, I want to go throw up. Yeah, this portal is, is really cool. I'm trying to think of another. Uh, when I do the review, I'll scale him with Thanos on Throne, some of the other pieces. He, his scale is perfect, I think. Definite quarter scale, so... So I'm going to do this really quick and then switch cameras. I'm still here. If all of a sudden I uh, pass out, call my wife. Of course, none of you have her number, so that would be interesting. All right, let me switch back here. Tons of comments. All right. So let's just start. Chris, what's up, my man? Yeah, I understand that, Stuart, but I don't think he'd have the gauntlet. That's 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 my thing. I think that's let me so you guys can look at this instead of me. I think that's the uh, flaw in the uh, story. I agree, uh, Captain. It's the movie-based uh, gauntlet, which is fine with me. Um, I'm actually getting uh, Master Custom, uh, HCTs, Thanos on Throne, the huge one. Uh, these actually would look really good next to each other. I think I'm going to do that, even though I'll need like an entire table. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, see if you can do a back a backlight with this like you did Psylocke statue mania. That would be awesome. Close up between the legs. Oh, he's got a little little something something there. This is pretty neat. Yeah, you you uh you and Osami, and I, I know his name isn't Osami, I just like calling him that. I will be really happy. I he probably deserves Ohami because Man, I just went to the bottom of all the comments. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, head seam, uh, J. Josiah, it's, it's definitely there, but you can only really see it on the back of the neck. It's very evident when you look there, but uh, since you won't be looking at him from behind or the side, I think that's okay. So I'm pretty impressed how they did it. Uh, if you're not watching, then other people can learn. Uh, so essentially, because his chin goes so low, it covers up the seam in the front. So it's really just a, this back part of his skull. So that was very smart too. Really impressed. Yeah. 
Oh, that would have been neat, Dave. Yeah, some some of these rocks throughout here. Yeah, yeah, PJ's blow. He can give me mouth to mouth if I uh <laughs> Yeah, Chris, I you'd have to come uh oh, put the light on it. You know what? I do have little portable lights. Do you guys want to see that? Well, you're going to see it if I can find them. I think they're right over here. I actually have some really cool bright lights. I'm still here. Unless I pass out. There they are. Back when I started, uh, statue reviews, I got these uh, for my photo session, but now it just takes too long. So let us plug this bitch in over here, try and give you guys a good shot. Let's move Galactus out of the way. I highly worry. What is this? Shit, there's something still in the pack, guys. I forgot a piece. Um, let's plug this in. I'm over here still. Plugging in the light. Let's unplug the camera here. When the table's in the middle of the room, it's tough to get a, uh... All right, let's see how this works. All right. Let's, uh, move you guys over. Oh, shit. Oh, that was the camera. Can't even tell how it looks. Oh, it might be too bright. So there's a, I wonder what this would look like in the dark. Eh, I think it's too powerful. Let me actually turn it off, it's kind of blinding. All right. Correct which I kind of like because it has a, uh, um, it kind of has wear to it. This isn't a review, Chris. You know, it's a good thing uh, I learned the hard way first. We'll, uh, we'll do one on the next one. We have most of the same stuff on order. Um, I just love statues. And I uh, uh, love talking to you guys. If I'm uh, skipping over your comments, I'm sorry. Yeah, she doesn't even have her tracking number yet. So uh, I, I, we planned on doing it, and it's my fault. I didn't want to wait because, God, I mean, I hope it's not two more weeks for her, but. I think they're long sold out, but people might be flipping them, so. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, I'm going to have to try during the review. I don't know if I'm going to review it tonight. I might review the Kylo custom head. Um, oh, it does. Uh, Ohami, like how I said your name. So down below, oh yeah, I forgot to put that piece together. I'm just like having a revelation right now. Where the fuck is it? That is, uh, we're gonna go get one of those. What Ohami said, read his comment. I must have, I know I saw that piece. It's over here. Yeah, thank you, Ohami. I would have noticed that after this. Let me go get one of those lights. Still here. Let's 
Leave this battery up here. Ah, shit. So, what Ohami is saying is this is by the same group who did the custom Sentinel and custom Beast for or custom Cyclops and custom Beast for Sentinel. And if you recall on the Sentinel hands, you can remove a cover, which there's a big hole right there. And here's the cover and put a light in it. And I have like 10 of these. This one, the battery's out. So you'll have to see that on the uh, uh, review. Yeah, it, I'm going to see what it looks like, though. All right. So uh, appreciate you guys hanging in. We're going to cut this short because uh, I I think I will try and review it tonight, but it's going to take a while. Very, very happy. Uh, I was pretty worried, just being honest, but it looks fantastic. Uh, congrats to all that have it coming. And I'm out. Take care, guys.